Greetings. Today we're gonna find out what happened with the Blue Eddy and the Rock Pals 100 watt solar panel. Now I have four solar panels here today. I have the Rock Pals 100, the Rock Pals 60, the Jackery 100, and the Jackery 60. We're gonna put all four of them through my, my little tool that will tell us voltage and amps. And I'm guessing some of you were right that the Rock Pals panels doesn't put out enough voltage for something like a Blue Eddy that requires 16 volts to charge. But let's prove it. First up, a brand new Jackery Solar Saga 60. I just pulled this out of the box. This is fresh from Jackery, and I have it angled exactly where it should be at the sun. And I have it tuned in to these specifications. I kind of got it to its maximum wattage, which seems to be right around 18 volts. That's kind of where it gets to its maximum of 49 watts. So you can see the watts right there. It actually was hitting 50, and that's not too bad at all for a 60 watt panel in these conditions. Now, there's a little haze in the sky. You guys can see there is some haze out there. So we're not getting 100% sun conditions here. Now, since we saw the performance of this brand new Jackery Solar Saga 60 on the right, now this one actually has a different cloth and it has the kickstand. This has the fold out kickstand on it. See? This is the older version. This does not have the kickstand. And if you can see, there's a difference in fabric. Completely different fabric. In fact, the handle's different. This has a flat handle. This has a round handle. They both say 60 watts at 18 volts, and they both have the same kind of connections in the back. Neither one of these have USB ports, which I like. I don't ever use USB ports on solar panels. I think they're a waste of time. Uh, it just allows water and dirt to get in. So we tested a new one. We saw we got 50 watts at 18 volts on our little machine. Let's hook up this. Now remember, this solar panel's pretty old. I beat the crap out of it probably over the last four months or so, and therefore I don't really expect it to perform as well as this brand new panel, which I just took out of the box, but let's see, let's see what happens. Okay, here is the old Solar Saga 60. This one has uh, four or five months of use and abuse. I used to keep this outside every day in the sun, in the rain, in the hail. I mean, the thing's really got the crap beat out of it. Let's see how it performs. Okay, I've dialed this in about the best I can. I'm getting about 48 watts, 47 to 48 watts. It's, it's varying slightly. So if I try to push it down to 18 volts, it drops to 46 watts. So if I leave it at like 18, mid 18s, it looks like it hits about 48. It's 47 and change right now, but I was getting 48 just a few seconds ago. So there we go, 46, 47, 48 watts. Now that's compared to the brand new panel, which we saw I got a solid 50 watts. Here's what I have to say. All right, so many of you were saying that these kind of portable panels, they don't hold up to the weather, they don't hold up to the sun, they're crap. Give it six months and it will be pretty much useless. Well, this solar panel is, it's at least four months old and it's been outside more than any of my other flex panels. So this thing should have degraded significantly in that four months if what some of you say is the truth. And that is that these panels that are made with the sun power cells, and all Jackery solar panels are made with sun power cells, they're considered some of the best in the world. The cells are. And Jackery and other companies buy up the sun power cells and use them in their own products. So yeah, the Solar Saga is expensive, but four months later, and I'm only getting two watts less, out of this solar panel than I did a brand new one fresh out of the box. I don't know, that sounds pretty good to me. Okay, here we have the Rock Pals 100 watt portable panel, and we're gonna see what this one puts out. So I have this dialed in right here for maximum wattage, which we're getting 76 watts out of a 100 watt panel. And I'll play with the voltage a little bit, 77 watts. But you notice the maximum wattage is at a lower voltage. So let's take it back to 18 volts. So at 18 volts, you get about 70 watts. 17 volts seems to be about where it puts out around 76 watts. Now compared to the Jackery, that's definitely a lower voltage for the maximum watts. Let's check the Rock Pile 60. 
Let's see if it has the same kind of performance. Let's, let's see if it peaks also around 17 volts. That might be why the Blue Eddy with the MPPT controller has a problem with the Rock Pals because its maximum load is a lower voltage. I also want to show you this is the unloaded voltage of the Rock Pals 100, just over 20 volts. Okay, here we have the Rock Pals 60 watt open circuit voltage with no load, 20.6 volts. Let's go ahead and crank her up. Okay, you can see we get a maximum of 48 watts in the 16 mid 16 volt range. It seems to be the peak, right around 17 volts. So just like the 100 watt panel. And here we have the Jackery Solar Saga 100. Open circuit voltage, it said 21.4, it's 21.3 right now. So it's definitely higher than the rock piles. That's very interesting. Seems like it's putting out its maximum around 15 volts, 78 watts. And at 18 volts, it's putting out about 64 watts. Very interesting. It's totally different results than the Solar Saga 60. Here's the open circuit voltage for the Jackery Solar Saga 60. That's way above the Solar Saga 100, 24.2 volts. No wonder this thing actually puts out power at a higher voltage range. Now this tells me that the Solar Saga 60 should do a really good job of charging the Blue Eddy pretty much at what we saw the wattage here, 52 watts from that little 60 watt panel. Yeah, the difference in voltage is really interesting. Uh, it does explain, I think, it does definitely explain why the Blue Eddy has such a problem with the Rock Pals. Because the Rock Pals panels, they put out lower voltage. So, mystery solved. If you do own a Blue Eddy or any other kind of solar generator or portable power station that has a 16 volt or higher requirement for solar panels, avoid the Rock Pals. However, under normal situations and normal circumstances and other solar generators with PWM controllers, it looks like the Rock Pals puts out pretty good power. So they're a good bang for the buck. I'm not gonna say don't get them, but if I was gonna buy one solar panel to haul with me in my limited space in my van, it would probably be the Solar Saga 100. Just because I know it'll work on everything I got. It's really quick and easy to set up. The cables are longer, it's got the kickstand, yeah, it's more expensive. It's also lighter and easier to carry. So that's probably the one I'd go for if I was gonna buy one for myself and just have one solar panel. I know you guys are gonna demand a real world test. Let's go ahead and plug each one of these solar panels into the Blue Eddy. We got a little more haze rolling in, so don't expect as high wattage numbers as you saw just a little bit ago on the machine. So we got the Solar Saga 60 here, 46 watts. Give you guys an idea what the sky conditions are like. Let's go ahead and try to speed through this before any of those bigger clouds roll in. 46 watts still. Here we are with the Solar Saga 100. We're getting, if you guys can see that, 61 watts. So here we have the Rock Pals 100. Now remember before when I hooked the Rock Pals 100 up, it only put out like 25, 30, I think 35 watts is what I saw before. I got a little bit of haze. It's around three o'clock, so the sun is a little lower, but we do have the panel angled as best we can towards the sun. Let's see what we get from the Blue Eddy. You guys can see that it says 45 and it bounces back and forth 45, 46 watts. That's amazing because just two days ago when I tested this, under higher sun conditions, it only put out like 30, 35 watts. Now it's doing mid 40s. We saw there is a big voltage difference between the Rock Pals 100 and the Jack Rick. Now let's test the Rock Pals 60 watt. Let's see if that sucker exhibits the same properties as its bigger brother. Here we have the Rock Pals 60 watt. Hopefully you can see that. It says 28 watts. So there we go, 28 watts out of a 60 watt panel for the Blue Eddy. The lower voltage definitely seems to be the problem. So, lesson learned. Don't go for the Rock Pals panels if you need something with a higher voltage, like if you have a Blue Eddy or something with a higher minimum voltage requirement. The Blue Eddy requires at least 16 volts to charge. And I think that's the problem. As it gets closer to that 16 volt lower limit, uh, it just doesn't absorb the amps that it needs to really make use of the, the panels. So the Jackery panels both perform great with the Blue Eddy and on our tests. So there you have the results. Hope you enjoyed it.
So if you learned something today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber yet, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Here we have the Rock Pals. Here we have the Rock Pals 60. Here we have the Rock Pals 60 watt. So Galaxy, now that I'm done recording, you shut the hell up. So you just wanted to make noise through my entire recording session, so I had to do dozens of takes. Thank you. Yeah, now she's not gonna say a word. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Or we go, God, Pat.